This is the second component of the concept of oral disinfection. You've already watched the video on, on brushing and some of my ideas on toothpaste and things like that. Now let's get to the second component, which is interdental cleaning, which most of us use dental floss to do that. There are four mistakes that I find that patients make and for the reasons they don't floss. The first is, I can't get my fingers in my mouth. Number two, it hurts. Number three, it makes my gums bleed. And number four is I'm just too damn lazy to do it. Well, I can't tell you do anything about the last one, but let's talk about the first two. My fingers are too big to get in my mouth. Here's the problem with that. They take a piece of floss, and a piece of floss should be about 18, about 15 inches long. And you wind it down like this, and they try to floss like this with their fingers outside the mouth. What you want to do is wind the floss down where there's virtually no space between them, and that certainly is an adequate um, uh, distance. And when you get your fingers that close together, obviously you can get it in your mouth. Now let's talk about the second thing. It hurts. Well, the reason it hurts is because you have inflammation in between the teeth, and we're told not to pop the contact. But you'll notice in my mouth, which is healthy, you can go ahead and pop the contact because it won't hurt. So rather than pop the contact, what you want to do is angle the floss as I'm doing here on this bicuspid, working the floss at an angle toward the palate. And once the floss is in place, then you can floss the mesial and the distal of adjacent teeth and then pull it through. And if you'll do that, that will not hurt when you do it. Now, as far as the gums bleeding, the same thing is true. You want to place the floss in the same way and go ahead and over a short period of time, the bleeding will stop and you'll get a healthy mouth. Okay, now let's talk about fl uh, flossing the healthy mouth, which I have. First of all, we're told not to pop the contact. Well, if you've got health, you have no bleeding, no tenderness, Go ahead and pop the contact. But here's what's important. You only floss with one finger. You're not trying to take two fingers and go back and forth. That's confusing to the patient. Let's simplify it. We only floss with one finger. The, the finger on the palate is dead weight, and we just pull against that. So watch what I do on this upper bicuspid. I pop, I pop the contact. Then... Notice this finger is not moving. It's moving, but it's inactive. I'm doing all the, flo all the flossing with this finger right here. So watch what I'm doing. And then pop it down. And if you'll do that, you'll find that it's very efficient. It takes no time and you can floss very effectively. So let's review. Wind the floss down to a short area. If you have a diseased mouth, angle it in and saw it toward the palate till you get through, and then gently floss the face, I mean the mesial of one tooth, the distal to the other. And if you'll do that for a few days, the bleeding will stop and you'll have a healthy mouth. Now let's go to another component of oral uh, decontamination, which is the brighting, the posterior third of the tongue, where 90% of the bacteria are that are left after you debride the teeth in approximately and with your brushing technique. 